today I'm gonna talk about my application for the bar examination how it went and what happened what technical glitches I experienced and everything everything in between <laughs> the payment there that was really how will I say it? Hey everyone uh, this is me your attorney and welcome back to my channel for those who are new to this channel welcome I'm I'm Cassidy and as for the moment I'm reviewing for the November 2021 bar examinations and I provide videos on the bar the recent bar bulletins the law and of course my journey into becoming a lawyer so if that's your kind of thing subscribe and hit the not notification bell so that you'll be notified of my recent uploads well i applied last august it was a week ago and i submitted all the documents with it i used the bar plus for applying for the bar exam you have to go through this frequently asked questions for application for the bar examination and then after that there will be a link at the end of it where you could click it or copy paste it to go to the bar plan from there you will register you will provide your email your password and then after that, you will receive a confirmation email. With the start of it, I experienced a glitch already. Or, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to put it other than the word glitch. I didn't receive right away my <laughs> confirmation email. I checked my spam, all my <laughs> emails, and all the promotion emails that I don't usually pay attention to I check them one by one I don't want to miss that particular email from the Supreme Court so it took like I think around three or four days before I got my confirmation email <laughs> I'm really really grateful because I'm I'm not that kind of person who usually panic so much i i do panic but not just a little not so much just a little so there i experienced that glitch already then when i got my confirmation email i was so happy so this is it i could attach my documents and go through the application process which i did it didn't take much time it's actually easy it's um it's user friendly Aside from that, oh, well, I have to correct that. It's user-friendly if you're using Google Search. But if you're not using Google Search, because I tried to use it in my laptop, and I'm using MacBook Air, so it didn't work. The site didn't exist, etc., etc. So I have to use my husband's computer and desktop to open it, and then... From there, it was kind of smooth, except for the part of the payment there. That was really, how will I say it, it's really intense. I opted for an online payment rather than going to the bank because, as you know, I I have toddlers in our house and I don't want the risk of them being exposed or me being exposed to somebody else. So I opted for online payment. So I used my uh, debit card, PNB debit card. It didn't work. According to PNB, there's so much number in the reference number. So it didn't work on that particular bank. So I tried to search for other banks that is accredited by the Bar Plus or sh should I say Union Union Bank Pay or something. So I used my husband's land bank account to to do the online payment and it went smoothly. 
except for the fact that uh, after receiving a confirmation from Union Bank through a text message and an email that my payment has been processed, after a few seconds, I received another email and another text message saying that my application payment I uh, didn't push through. So, I'll show you. <laughs> Here it is. So, for me, it was kind of what just happened. So, I checked my husband's account. Uh, the 10,015, by the way, there's, by the way, there is a convenience fee of 15 pesos per, per transaction. So, it's 10,015 and it was debited on my husband's account. So, I tried to uh, get screenshots as much as possible of the transactions and the, the notification from the Union Bank and they emailed right away the Office of the Bar Confident. So the time I emailed the Supreme Court, it was a Sunday. It was a Sunday. So I was expecting an email the next day. Well, there, there was an email right away saying that it might take them a while before responding to my inquiry, but they will. There's an, there's an assurance that they will respond to my email. At exactly after a week, the Supreme Court, Office of the Bar Confident, emailed me saying that they will forward this to their uh, to the to the person concerned and etc. etc. So there I'm, I'm I'm happy to hear about that. And then when I checked my my application dashboard of in the bar plus voila <laughs> Payment has already been accepted, so there. I'm just waiting now. I'm waiting for the um, office uh, of the bar confidence um, remarks on my documents and my and their approval. So far, how would I rate the bar plus? I'm still giving a thumbs up, a thumbs up for the bar plus because. Well, it's technically it's new. It's new to the Supreme Court, and we have to commend them. We have to commend the Office of the Bar Confident for the several changes that they did for this bar examination, just to um, just to accommodate all of us bar applicants and aspiring lawyers, right? So, I'm, I'm still grateful but despite the fact that I experienced that I'm still grateful because this is new first this is new and it's an improvement already from the previous process which is good an improvement is good for an organization and for well for herself also <laughs> and third you know they they considered our safety, the bar examiner's safety. So, I think that's 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 a hundred percent positivity already. That's a hundred percent kudos to the office of the bar confident for um, creating this process, this online application process. Um, thank you for watching.